in this uh, video of medical education series uh, we will discuss uh, professionalism in detail but first um, what are the seven competencies of a physician according to can meds uh, a book about medical education so the first competency is that uh, a doctor should be medical expert in its uh, field another is uh, he should be a good manager he should be a good communicator collaborator he should collaborate with other departments um, health educator promote health education he should be professional and he should perform research he should be scholar so these are the seven competencies uh, that are must for uh, a doctor and today we will discuss professionalism because in my opinion all the qualities uh, of a seven star, star doctor uh, they come under the heading of professionalism now one of the most common reason for disciplinary action against doctors is unprofessional conduct with poor professional behavior at medical schools hospitals or workplaces this suggests that uh, there is a lot of room uh, to learn to understand and to teach professionalism to avoid such mishaps so what is basically professionalism it is the conduct behavior and attitude of someone in a workplace professionalism is necessary for long term success of any workplace it ensures that uh, the doctor um, colleagues patients uh, students relationships are maintained uh, interactions are positive and the workplace uh, meet its goals and objectives in general uh, there are many professional characteristics uh, so we will discuss uh, one by one in detail now professional appearance now that is very important uh, characteristic of professionalism uh, appropriate attire and proper hygiene and grooming uh, is necessary to behave as a professional clean and iron clothes uh, you should wear uh, formal dress uh, leather shoes uh, they are all part of uh, professional dress uh. now as uh, professionalism is not taught in medical curriculum unfortunately that's why when we were uh, students uh, and we used to go to the college or hospital in casual looks our teachers would get angry and warn us uh, to come in proper dress we didn't understand that at that point but now it makes sense for medical professionals wear white overall clean shave or well trimmed beard and sleeveless shirts now the second trait is that the doctor should be dependable they should keep their commitments on time and they should be punctual they should be reliable more reliable more dependable you can depend upon their words number 3 points is ethical behavior honesty sincerity and open disclosure are characteristics of uh, ethical behavior so they should be ethically strong morally strong then organized they should be well organized uh, their files their necessary documents should not be kept half hazard all necessary file should be in place so that uh, whenever required uh, they can find it easily then professional doctor should be accountable he should take responsibility for his mistakes and take corrective measures he should understand he should uh, commit that he has done a mistake and he is now able to rectify then language they should talk professionally as a motivational speakers talk with positive vibes they should avoid slangs they should not shout on the patients on the students um, and not use inappropriate language in the workplace 
then the seventh attribute is the distance uh, they should maintain distance between the personal and professional life number eight attribute is positive attitude because uh, when a doctor has a got a positive attitude it improves performance then emotional control they should stay calm and composed in all situations number 10 is effective time management now that is one of the key characteristics of true professional to complete his or her work in due time sometimes there will be a heavy list but you should be able to manage it in time then a doctor should be focused to increase productivity true professionals stay focused on their work it not only increase product productivity but also improves the quality of work true professional is poised maintains a straight posture make eye contact when communicating and stay calm in times of immense pressure now the 13th point is that a good communicator must have a strong communication skills they efficiently so that they can efficiently convey messages to patients to students to colleagues they should patiently listen and understands what the patients or students want to say so good communication skills are very important and they are checked then respect respectful they should be respectful they should always treat uh, their colleagues patients students with respect uh, while humor at workplace is must they should always make sure that it is appropriate and will not hurt feelings of uh, colleagues medical professional is caring he cares for his students for his patients for colleagues and he is empathetic now there is a difference between empathetic and sympathetic empathy means experiencing patients or students feelings while sympathy means showing concerns for someone's loss suffering now professional develop soft skills like leadership quality critical thinking quality teamwork and professional behavior so these are all also important attributes that he should have developed soft skills then comes that he or she should always be keen to learn new things and above all doctor considers patient first and maintain his or her confidentiality at all costs so these are the attributes of a professional doctor now question arises that how to teach professionalism there are number of methods like didactic lectures web based modules role modeling reflections interactive methods so through these means you can teach professionalism and if you know professionalism like we have discussed in detail all the traits of professionalism then in each and every action in which you interact with your students patients anyone professionalism comes into play now how to assess professionalism multiple assessment tools must be used like multi source feedback using 360 degrees reviews patient feedback critical incident reports data regarding professional conduct is collected throughout career data generated by these tools can be used to create a professionalism portfolio the totality of which represents a picture of individuals professionalism this portfolio can be used for formative and summative feedback data from this can also be used for developing professionalism curriculum and generating research hypotheses so that was all about professionalism and here i have shown also a chart that how to assess professionalism's mini clinical evaluations professionalism mini evaluation exercise 
standardized direct observation assessment tool collateral view of co-workers 360 degree evaluation records critical incident report simulations paper based test patient surveys global observer rating self administered rating scale so all these can be used to assess professionalism so in this video first we have discussed in detail the characteristics of a true professional medical doctor and then the methods how to teach professionalism and then the assessment tools how to assess professionalism in the next video we will discuss the pro forma that how to assess professionalism and the utility index in detail Thank you very much.